Hello friends, this is my beginning of September grocery haul. I hope you all have a very healthy and ha safe and happy Labor Day weekend. We have no plans, <laughs> so we're just gonna be staying home. But anyway, Olivia and I went into town today. We had lots of stops to make and it is so hot and muggy out, it's awful. But fall is on its way and pretty soon we'll be complaining about how cold it is. Anyways, um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I picked up from Kroger first. So let's get started with this grocery haul. All right, this is all that I picked up from Kroger's. Not a whole lot. You didn't need a whole lot, um, but you know, just some little fill-in things here and there. I got some more of this um, multi-grain artisano bread for Scott. Got another pack of my extra spearmint gum. I found this very helpful in the evenings when I don't want to eat any more calories, but I've still got the munchies. I'll chew some gum. That seems to help. I got some more of the uh, cold brew iced tea that we really, really enjoy. Uh, I got some of these true lemons lemonade. This is strawberry lemonade, and this is raspberry lemonade. And there's only 10 calories per little tube, and it just makes plain water less boring. Um, I got this Kroger variety of coffee again for the guys because it's still a lot cheaper than Maxwell House. We got two of our um, dairy-free cheddar cheeses and one of the mozzarella for Olivia and I. Got some more of our Enjoy Life mini chips. These are allergen friendly. And then they were having a special of different items. If you bought, bought five items, you can mix and match, <clears throat> you get $5 back. So this was my five items. I got some Thousand Island dressing, some ranch, some Miracle Whip light, and then two things of um, pasta sauce. I usually get a Classico, but they had to um, substitute the Vertoli. Don't know that I've ever had that, but it's probably pretty good. Then I got another thing of my Ripple Half and Half. I got two things of coffee creamer for the guys. I thought I ordered three, but two will last them. I'll, I'll probably get to pick some more up at Dollar General at some point. And then I got some French fries. And thanks to my friend Kim, also known as Schnauzer Mom here on YouTube, she sent me another coupon for these Kroger chicken strips. So we're gonna have chicken strips and fries for dinner tonight. Thank you so much, Kim. That is very sweet of you. And then I got three things of Mountain Dew. They're still having, what are you doing, sir? He's a monster. Oh my goodness, he's a monster. Anyhow, they're still having their three, three cases for $12 deal. So I got three cases of Mountain Dew. All right, that's it for Kroger. Let me get this stuff away, and the Aldi haul is much bigger. This whole table is going to be completely full. All right, this is everything we picked up from Aldi. I have been looking all summer at Goodwill and different garage sales and stuff for a nice white tank top, and I cannot find any. So I finally gave in, and I just got these from Aldi. It's a white and a black, so I will use them both, but now I've got a nice white tank top to wear under things. Then I picked up, I was gonna get um, six packages of everything bagels for Travis, but they only had five. So I got five of those and then one package of plain. I got four loaves of artisanal white bread for Travis and Olivia. Now remember, I'm just as a reminder, I'm now shopping every three weeks instead of every other week. So that's why some things we're getting a lot of. Uh, I got two things of the uh, tortillas for the family. And then I got two of these low carb wraps for me, as well as some of these sandwich skinnies. I got some more of this already popped popcorn for snacks for me. It's just very, very convenient. I got two bags of these El Milagro tortilla chips for the family. Uh, Olivia. She loves these cherry pies. I don't know, they're kind of, you know, I think they're probably kind of gross, but she likes them. And so she got one for her and one for her 
brother and they've got all kinds of fall stuff now out in the store and these are apple cider donut cream cookies they're like oreo cookies only they're apple cider donut flavored and of course i will have to taste one um i'll just keep track of the calories of it but i want to taste one of those i got some of these sticks meat sticks for uh, scott for his snacking I got some cocktail peanuts just to replace some that we used out of our long-term storage. I got some more of these 100 calorie pack snack packs for me. I bought some three weeks ago and I still have some, but it's just nice to have them uh, available if I want something a little sweet. Um, I got some uh, crunchy granola raisin bran, mainly for Scott. I am going to get into making my own granola at some point, but sometimes he likes to have raisin bran. Usually on Sunday evenings he'll have a bowl of cereal. I got some half and half for Scott's for his coffee. Um, this is some of the fall stuff that I was talking about. They had this like um, old timey root beer that Olivia wanted to try. And then this is sparkling apple cider and yes it is non-alcoholic. We do not drink anything with alcohol so if ever you see anything like this you can be pretty like a hundred percent sure it's not non-alcoholic but we picked this up to take with us on our fall camping trip one for each of us um, I picked up two cans of chili with no beans we have had a lot of chili dogs this summer um, so I just wanted to replenish our pantry with that got a pound of butter for the guys um, they did have all their pasta was restocked which was nice to see and I just got some rigatoni and some macaroni and then they had this and I oh Olivia thinks it's corny and she doesn't really like themed shaped pastas that much but I am just the opposite I think it's really fun and so I got some of these fall shaped pastas and then I got four cans of pinto beans we needed to kind of restock our shelves with those um i got some dairy free or not dairy free um lactose free milk for travis and in this bag i have seven dozen eggs and we got some produce here they still had nice looking cherries so i picked up some cherries and i picked up some more nectarines been really enjoying nectarines I've uh, got some bananas. I got three packages of zucchini because I am not tired of zucchini. We didn't. We had one zucchini plant. And it only produced maybe half a dozen zucchini, and then it died. So I'm still in the mood for zucchini. So I got three packages of zucchini. I got one head of lettuce because we will have tacos at some point in the next three weeks, and I got two English cucumbers. We're still getting cucumbers off of our plants, but not, not enough. So these are just to supplement because I've been eating a lot of cucumbers lately too. They're basically, basically calorie free. I mean, really, there's like four calories for a cup of cucumbers or something like that. So I've been eating a lot of cucumbers. I got two thick bags of frozen broccoli florets. They had lunch meat for a decent price there. I know I told you I wasn't going to buy them lunch meat, the guys' lunch meat anymore, but I found this at Aldi. They finally had some back in stock. So I got two packs of ham. And then I picked up this variety pack of cheese slices. I think Scott especially will like it because he likes Swiss cheese. So we got Kobe Jack, Swiss, Cheddar, and Monterey Jack. Just thought for something different. Picked up some Colby Jack for them or when we have tacos. And then they had some dairy-free um, frozen um, treats. And so we picked these up. Libby and I both love fudge sickles and it's really hard to find them. In fact, this is the first time I've ever seen dairy-free fudge sickles. They weren't cheap. They were like $5 for four, but it's just gonna be a treat. And there's only 90 calories per bar so that's that's not bad so two for her and two for me and then this is the another thing we've never seen before it's the vegan um, oat milk strawberry ice cream 
We've seen other flavors, but we've never seen strawberry before. Before, So those are just a couple little frozen treats for Olivia and I. But three Rising Crust pizzas for Travis. He cooks a pizza every Sunday. Um, I got some more frozen burritos for whoever wants to eat them. Another big package of hot dogs just because it's really cheap meat. <laughs> um, I did get Travis a bag of these snack combo chips. They finally had the Clancy's back in stock. And the Clancy's one are actually, I mean, they're still not cheap. $5 and change for this pack. But it beats the name brand, which was over $10, which I will not pay for chips. So anyway, pick those up for Travis. I got some of these wet mop, mopping cloths for our uh, Swiffer mop. I picked up some of these um, cleaning pods for our dishwasher. One package of paper plates, some napkins, two things of Kleenex, and these are actually the Kleenex brand, and then a gallon of white vinegar. Our little baby chicks are just about ready to move out into the big coop, and Scott took the pressure washer and cleaned it all out and got it, really all the yucky stuff out. But I'm going to go in and I'm going to uh, disinfect it with vinegar, let it dry really good, and probably this weekend, Labor Day weekend, we'll be moving those little chickies out to the big coop. All right, that is everything I picked up from Aldi. Let me get this stuff put away, and then I'll show you what I picked up from one of the other stops we had to make today. All right, next I will show you what we picked up from Walmart. Yes, I had to go into Walmart. There was just a couple of things that I couldn't get at Aldi, and Kroger didn't have, and there was some other things I needed to get from Walmart, so we went over to Walmart. One of the things I picked up were some of these frozen black eyed peas. I love black eyed peas, and our black eyed peas did nothing this year in the garden. Um, my sister told me they had these at Walmart and that she had bought them and tried them, and they were okay. Not as good as fresh, she said, but they were okay. So I ended up, ended up getting three bags of frozen black eyed peas. I got a, a thing of Honeycrisp apples. I got two things of baked chips. These are for me, for my lunches and whatnot. I got a barbecue and an original. These also are uh, something I was gonna get at Kroger and I forgot to put on my uh, Kroger order with some of these rice cakes. These make some really satisfying snacks. So I got the caramel and then just the plain lightly salted. Um, we have some more things that we need to get in the freezer. Um, we still have some tomatoes to do and I think we've decided to just freeze what tomatoes we get um, from now on instead of canning. I don't think we're going to have enough left in the garden to do another big canning and I don't want to drag all that stuff out just for a small batch. So we're just going to freeze whatever tomatoes we get from now on. Plus, I still want to do a little bit more um, corn, freezer corn. Now, although I've been using my, um, uh, what do you call it, vacuum sealer for the corn. I'm not going to do it for the tomatoes. It's too juicy. The tomatoes are too juicy. Um, this is another thing they didn't have at Kroger. I got some more prunes. And then the main reason I went into Kroger is because um, my husband takes this twice a day, and he was completely out. And so I went ahead and just got two jars of it. I'll put one in my extended pantry and one for now. And we also picked up a bag of ice that's already in the freezer. And then Olivia needed some black thread. So we went over to the craft section, got some black thread for her. She also needed some more of these little tiny clear hair ties. So we got some of those for her. And then I saw these in the, the crafting section. They're actually buttons, but I thought these would be adorable in my little uh, mouse village. Not sure how I will use them, but I'm looking forward to trying to use those. Those are so cute. And then the last thing we got from Walmart was some of these fall leaves. I had seen some similar to this at Dollar Tree um, a month or so ago, and I didn't get them. And I, you know, you snooze, you lose. And so they don't have them at Dollar Tree anymore. So I had to get them at Walmart. All right, that's it for my Walmart haul 
Next, I'll show you what we picked up from Dollar Tree. I actually went into Dollar Tree to get some more tarps because I want to finish covering the garden. And of course, again, they do not have any tarps. So I guess we're going to end up having to go to like Harbor Freight or somewhere, <clears throat> get some cheap tarps to finish the job. But anyway, <clears throat> while I was in there, of course, they have all their fall stuff out. And if you remember in my last Dollar Tree haul, they had the mushrooms that were pink, reddish slash pink. Well, this time they had brown ones, and they are so cute. These I won't have to do anything with, paint or do anything with. So I got two packs of those. And then they had all these cute little wooden items. They had mushrooms. They had the little pointy topped mushrooms and the little rounded mushrooms and some apples and some acorns. And so Olivia and I will have a lot of fun painting these and using them in our, our crafting. So looking forward to that. Um, I needed some more just plain regular envelopes. So I picked up some envelopes. Olivia wanted um, another one of these vitamin waters. She really loves those. And she asked if she could get this bar of soap. Vanilla bean scented. Mm. And then they had all their 2023 planners and calendars out. And I love getting my planners and calendars there. For, they're not $1.25 now. But where else can you get a calendar for $1.25? So I got one, of course, birds. You know me and my birds. It's got a blue jay. I love blue jays. Ooh, and cardinals. I love cardinals. So I got that. And then I got this for um, like my budgeting budgeting uh, planner. And then this one I use for uh, YouTube videos. So I got those. And then I picked up some pretzels. Uh, Scott loves these sourdough nibblers. So I got those for him. And then I just got some pretzel sticks for me. All right, that's it. That's all I got from Dollar Tree. So while we were in town, we decided to stop over at Burke's again. On Mondays, you get a 10% discount. Um, there was something I had seen in there the last time we went and I didn't pick it up and I was kicking myself. And so I went back and they still had it. So I got that. And then another thing that we needed was I needed some dress shoes for church. I've got shoes, but they all look good with pants, not with dresses, and they're, or my summer sandals, and fall's coming, and I've got winter boots, but I didn't have anything for the in-between time, and Olivia needed another pair of shoes as well, and so that's what we picked up at Burke's. Let me show you. Um, I think the shoes are so cute. So this is what I went into this store for. It's a three pack of these silicone ice cube trays. I figured this would work great for pesto, frozen um, basil, if we decided to do frozen garlic, that kind of stuff. Because when Olivia used my actual muffin, uh, silicone muffin liners, um, it took a lot to get the smell of basil out of them. So um, we're just gonna uh, use these strictly for the smelly things and use my silicone uh, liners for cupcakes and eggs and things like that. That won't leave behind any odor. And then, of course, they had their fall stuff, and I couldn't pass up these Fresh Scents sachets that smell so good. There's three of them. And then I love Snoopy, and I love Beagles, and I love fall. And so I had to pick up this kitchen towel. I mean, I didn't have to, but yeah, I had to. <laughs> then they had these high energy mix, um, individually packed things um, at the checkout. 150 calories for one package. And you know how I love the uh, individually packaged snacks for my weight loss goals. It just makes life easier. And then they had this adorable pump, or mushroom, I almost said pumpkin, mushroom in the fall decor section. And it's made out of like natural fibers and stuff. So cute. They did have some natural fiber critters there a fox and a squirrel and I wanted to get them but I'm like nope I don't need them I already have so many of that those things I just no wasn't gonna do it but these are the shoes I picked up they're kind of like clogs well I guess they are clogs but they have the adjustable strap across the top they're a not a high heel I can't do high heels 
and um, I really like the rounded toe. They're just really super comfortable and they're this um, neutral taupe color. So I thought they would go really well uh, in the interim between spring and, or not spring, uh, summer and winter. So these would be some really cute church shoes. And then Olivia has been wanting black, I don't know, I call them soldier boots, <laughs> for so long. And they had them there and they fit her really good. They've got a really nice tread on the bottom of them. So, you know, she can use them in the winter time. And they were, I think, $29.99, but then we got 10% off. So it was not a bad deal for some boots that should last her a really long time. And that's everything we picked up from Burks. All right, friends, that's it for this grocery slash everything else haul. I hope you enjoyed it um, because this will be coming out the very beginning of September. There will probably be another haul at the end of the month because like I've said in the past, I go grocery shopping every three weeks. If you enjoyed this haul, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below and we will talk to you all later. Bye-bye, friends.